Dorgan. Joining me now is former Senator Byron Dorgan. Senator, good to have you back with us. Thanks, Ed. Good to be with you. Lots of crazy stuff going on right now. And there's not a whole lot happening in the House and the Senate when it comes to fighting ISIS other than hecklers from the stands right now. Mm -hmm. I, want your, I want your thoughts on the president seeking uh, authorization of military force, but he's not getting it from the Congress. What, what does this mean from your perspective? Well, as you know, nothing is happening in Washington that would require some uh, uh, ability to work together. I mean, it's just the, the, the issue of compromise seems to be an issue that is, is just off the table. But, uh, you know, on the Middle East and fighting ISIS and dealing with all these issues, um, my feeling is that the fewer American flags we plant in the sand of the Middle East, the better. That doesn't mean we shouldn't provide some significant leadership in lots of ways with our allies, but sending an American fighting force uh, right into the cauldron of the Middle East um, makes little sense for this country. Uh, there's no evidence at all that that is what is going to solve the issues of the Middle East. So, you know, I, I hope the president is cautious. I hope we provide leadership and hope we work to put together coalitions and so on. But, uh, you know, this ISIS issue, ultimately the Middle East is going to have to resolve much of this um, in the Middle East. The a terrorist attack on Paris and the involvement of the French now and the airstrikes by the Russians, uh, is this going to help the coalition? Is this going to, and, and what, do you, what kind of an effect do you think that this would have on NATO or, or upping the ante to go after ISIS? How do you think this plays? Well, this is, you know, the attack uh, in Paris is changing a lot of things. Just as, for example, when ISIS was... Uh, on video uh, beheading people, uh, you know, that kind of savagery and, uh, and the, the, the beheading of uh, captives um, on video. It had a profound impact around the world as a method of communicating from, the, uh, from ISIS. The same is true with respect to the attacks in Paris. I, I, I find it really interesting, you know, the, the issue of the uh, refugees, uh, you know, in the aftermath of the Paris attacks, the refugees... Uh, uh, the question about whether some uh, some terrorists might come in with refugees to various countries, um, and and the call politically to close borders, and uh, someone suggested let in only Christians. I mean, it is so Byzantine; it's just hard to describe it. Do you remember when we had the Ebola scare? Yeah, uh, we had this, uh, some of the same people were the first out there saying we're going to shut down the American borders. You know, it is so thoughtless in terms of how some of these people approach these issues. These are serious, difficult issues, and it requires grown-ups to think through them and come up with but, solutions that make sense for our country. Well, if unless I'm mistaken, every single uh, Republican candidate, um, other than Trump, is saying put boots on the ground in the Middle East. Uh, That's what, it, there, there, there is no political appetite or political will in this country to see that happen. So how does that play in this election year? But many of those who talk about boots in the ground, they, they've talked about boots in the ground with respect to every trouble spot in the world. I mean, you yeah. just add them up. It's always boots in the ground. You know, again, I think that the American people have little appetite for that. It doesn't mean that we should withdraw from the world. It doesn't mean we shouldn't provide some significant leadership. But look, uh, no country that I'm aware of has been successful sending invading armies to, uh, or sending armies, rather, into uh, uh, you know, Afghanistan, Iraq, and so on, and, and uh, sending boots on the ground, a lot of boots on the ground to Syria, boy, that, in my judgment, that is a serious, serious mistake for this country. And again, Ed, there are a lot of ways to, to provide significant leadership for this country, uh, and, and, you know, I, I hope that the president is working through that. He's, he's quieter than people would like him to be, but you know what? In the face of all of these Republican candidates saying, send troops, send boots to the ground, frankly, I'm kind of pleased that the president is saying, you know what, that, we're not going to do that. We're, you know, we're, we're, we've got a strategy. We're working through this strategy. The fact is ISIS has less territory now than they had before. Uh, obviously, the Paris attack uh, has ramped this up a lot, and it's a serious issue, but uh, this country needs to be involved, but not with boots on the ground. Senator, Byr Senator Byron Dorgan, always good to visit. Thank you, Byron. Appreciate it. We'll do it again. You, you bet. Thank you.